What do you think is going to be the theme for 2018? What's going to be deregulated that will materially help banks? Well, I, I think deregulation maybe isn't the right word. I think recalibration is the right word. We're sort of at, at an inflection point right now. So if you look at the U.S., if you look at the largest banks in the U.S., they're holding uh, about five, you know, 500 basis points over their minimum core, core, core tier one common equity requirement, capital requirement. The the C card, the the G SIBs are holding about 400 percent over uh, what the what the le leverage ratio requirement, the international leverage ratio requirement. So we're in a period now where our financial institutions are quite stable, extremely well capitalized. And in fact, what we're seeing is, is liquidity trapped on balance sheet that could be redeployed elsewhere. And I think that's what the Treasury Department is thinking about is how can we, and the Fed, how can we recalibrate uh, so we still have safe and sound financial institutions, but we're putting more capital and credit into the, into the, into the economy to drive the economy. I think the other thing is you look at we're at an inflection point where we just had an agreement last Last week with the Basel Committee, so Basel III is now finalized. We can move towards implementation of that. And I think around the globe you're going to see, okay, let's sort of level set where we're at. Let's go and, and tweak around the edges and fix things that need to be fixed. So we had a report from the Treasury Department back in June saying these are some recalibrations, to use your words. We're going to put up a full screen of some of the heads that they had in there. I want you to take a look at this. Tell us what's most important to banking because they seem to break down into two categories. One is how much liquidity, how much reserves do you have to have. The other is simply the difficulty of complying, things like some of the stress tests and things like that. So you can see here the SIFI designation, you know, going right. up to 50 billion, reforming the stress test, which is just a pain for the for the banks. And it costs a lot of money. Limit reserve liquidity, living the will, make it biannual versus right. every year, and reform community bank regulation. Go down the list. What's most important to the banks? Well, I think I think in terms of things around living wills, around the the, the liquidity and capital rules that that you know living wills and stress test firms are doing those anyway, but they become redundant over time, and so you're, you're spending more time on that than you are running the bank. I think in the supervisory space of what the Fed is doing is is a good idea. I think there are also a whole number of capital markets issues that the regulators are looking at, and that's what came out in the second report. Things about looking at at the at the swaps market mm -hmm. and how you can make that you know. Title VII and that market more efficient. We're not going back to a pre-2007-2008 period. We're not going back beyond or behind Dodd-Frank. But what we are saying is, let's make this work better.